my brother kind of uh touched on some things you've been doing since you left jack state man but i know your fans and jack state fans in general hbcu fans in general would love to know man what you've been doing since you played there yeah so uh you know my my, my first year after leaving um jack state was um i went to the cfl and it was an experience mm -hmm. for me it, it it just wasn't it's not the same football so for yeah. me to just feel comfortable back playing american football um it was an opportunity that i had to go overseas and that was something i did and um you know i kind of took that that same um sa same mentality that you know i i was kind of casted aside by the nfl and i was casted aside by all universities jackson state gave me that that one and only opportunity and then this team in mm -hmm. germany gave me that one and only opportunity so i kind of just took that same mentality there and um i guess it was a little surprising for that for for their football culture because um you know I was kind of like take no prisoners when I went there and, and 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 that's how I played and it it just became something that I did year after year and I always wanted to keep like you know continue proving to myself and everybody that you made the right decision in signing me and I'm I'm going to keep winning championships I'm going to keep winning MVPs and I'm just I'm going to do it year after year and yeah you know I I didn't really find myself settling um and like being comfortable and winning and all these things mm -hmm. so that's just something that that I was always driven to do is just always make sure everybody knew I was the best when I stepped on the field and hopefully I got a chance to prove that at Jackson State as well as when I went to Europe. I meant to ask you though, just how it is with you with Germany over there. I didn't yeah. even know Germany really fuck with American football like that. Yeah. I, honestly, when I was when I was leaving uh, the CFL, I was like, well, you know, if I don't play in Canada, like uh, I don't know if I'm playing football because mm. I had no idea either. And then suddenly I got a message um from from a german from a german football player who played in the cfl so i guess he had seen the news and he was like hey um obviously like we think highly of you and i could tap you into like this network of going to like a german team they're you know they're usually a good team they've had a couple down years so i'm like yeah absolutely i was like but they got football like you know i play american like football like tom brady not like soccer and he was like no 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 i know i know like i was yeah. like all right yeah cool because I honestly didn't even know either. And then when I went over there, you know, it's basically like, um, you know, it's like an easier college life without classes and you get paid to do it. So, you know, it was, it was, a, I guess it was something for me where I was like, I was traveling Europe, going, going to Amsterdam, going, yeah. going to Italy, going, and then just playing games on Saturday, practicing every couple of times. So it, it was one of those moments where I, I again, it was, it was it was a culture shock to a different degree but like mm. um it was all through football again so for me it was it was easy and natural because i'm doing all these things through a sport that was my escape from just like just like the shit normal life you know so like doing it through football yeah. just made yeah. just, just made everything easier